Well, anyway, 92 Green Z34. I got my buddy Logan's Farm here and my brother Brando. And uh, we're drinking Brando's most favorite cheap beer. So we'll want to see uh, what his He's his the king opinion. of the Red Superman. We want to see. Superman. We want to see what his uh, his, I'm the king his opinion of the, is on this. Blue Superman. It's pretty nice. Or black. And this, and this is Milwaukee's best premium. And uh, yeah, Logan's Farm is Beast Ice King, and Brando is Beast Premium King. You gotta King. get that. You gotta get. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta I don't like Beast Light gotta, guys. I'm sorry. I wish I was more this. helpful. Yeah, because I'm the king of the Beast Ice. In the can. In the can. That's the only quality. Have you ever drank it in the bottle? Beast ice in the bottle is fucking way better. Have you ever had it in the bottle, Brando? No. Have you ever had it in the 40? No. It's really good in both. But here's the thing. I will take a can over any bottle. The drinkability in a can is far superior. You sure? It doesn't... It doesn't but glug. the flavor is so much better. The glug the is way different. The wow. amount of frost... And, and notice the way I open the can. This is important because Brandon. Very important. Versus other people's can. Opening. This is me. Josh. I have one. The Roadmaster has yet to even try it. He just cracks his barely. Logan why spills, the fuck's mine always full Logan up? comes I, over and spills on the crap. I don't even know why. I just fucking mess. grab this beer. Logan makes a mess. Okay. This, oh, this, I don't know. This right here is what makes this beer so great. The half crack. Just well, see, you take a big pound off of it, Brando. Mine's full crack, so. All right. Most of, most of my mouth foamed up. Rush through. Rush through. And it settles back down. Run, 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 run. There you go. Very delicious. The smell? It smells like dick. No good smell. Not a fan of smell, huh? If you want to smell this, well, there's other shit out there to smell. Pretty much, pretty it's much what I like this. Smell better. I don't know. All beer smells like dick. I have yet to smell a like beer that's like, oh, oh, that smells like roses. Yes, it smells like that. I actually smell beers that smell great, but they taste like ass. Yeah, I have too. Yeah, well, I don't They all smell like dick far as I'm concerned. But the taste is a nice, salty, tart beer. It's too rip, and I'm going to take a pit, rip off of myself, well, all right? Semen, right. Well, uh, Mr. Navy, all right, let's take a rip. You are Pretty smooth rip. Point. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a rip off myself. Now you already kind of know my position on this because me and Logan's Farm have both reviewed this beer. I think we have. I want to say off of the 40, I enjoyed it the most because we never the glass had, bottle was it. We never had this in the 40, did we? I have. You haven't. I, I have. I have. And the 40 off of the bottle was really actually fucking crazy good, but they don't have it around here, and I can't buy it. It actually tastes a lot like uh, Budweiser with a little bit of frothiness. It's a little harder to chug really fast, but the fact is that the texture is just great, and it's a really a nice biscuity, biscuity kind of a, almost chewy American lager that you got to like. So, but off, the can, off the can, though, it's a little different. It's a little more alumini. Uh, yeah, but, but, but it's pretty good. I mean, I, I do I do like it for the price. You're con, you got to consider you're not spending that much money on it. Here's my chug. Here's my little bit of a, a slam off of it. It has a little bit of a saltiness. Um, a slight... Uh, after afterwards biscuitness um but <clears throat> not very hard to drink very easy let's see what logan's got huh go ahead and take it take a little pass off that logan not too bad though i can already tell yeah what do you think logan biscuity mm -hmm. And uh, a little sourness maybe to me. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's not bad. I mean, I've had it before. I know it's not terrible. For your price range, yeah, it's great beer. Mhm. Mm I want. I want my favorite because personally, I'm a person that goes over uh, uh, drunkenness versus taste, which is why I go for the ice version of this beer. <coughs> Otherwise, no, it's a good beer. I just want to say that, you know, all these beers to me have a, have a certain place in drinkability. 
The only reason why I like this beer is that you're paying just over, I don't know, Natty Light price. It's very cheap. And you're getting about a Budweiser flavor. And it, it, for that, you're getting a really good buy. I think I said this in my first review, but I think that even as a drunk guy who's drank a couple 40s and some beers before this, you're getting a good good amount of uh, good amount of value for your drink. And that's why Beast Premium is really where oh, it is. Cool. Tell them about the ability to do ugly chicks after drinking it. They just heard about it. Thanks, guys, for uh, looking at that. Let me finish this. <laughs> An empty can, and uh, <clears throat> both me and my brother agree that this is a valuable beer among its uh, price range. Thank you guys for watching. Miranda says, Miranda says it's the most horrible beer I've so far tonight. You are wrong. Exactly. Hey, anyways, guys, thanks she for watching. Penis. She likes penis too. She does, though. Yay. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, have a nice day.